Well then, could the James Madison deal finally be coming to a close? Reports are suggesting that he is very, very close to agreeing a deal to join Newcastle United in the summer. We've got news about Carl Darlow, who is a wanted man by a couple of championship teams. Uh, Rangers Newcastle friendly, that's going to be televised for everybody to see. Um, Newcastle's game against Spurs has been voted uh, Premier League match of the season. And have our old friends at Castore balls up yet again. Let's have a look. This is the Daily News. Hi everybody, I'm Paul. Welcome back to the Tune Review YouTube channel and the Daily News Show. Uh, before we get cracking on it, uh, if you do enjoy today's show, guys, as usual, do try and give it the thumbs up. Uh, it is very important that we keep those likes coming in on the channel and enable us to be in those search results for other fans like yourselves to find the channel in the future. Uh, and also, if you're new and you like what you see, please do hit the subscribe button. It is free to do so. And of course, the notification bell, which will let you know when we go live or we upload any future videos. So thank you very much in advance for that, guys. Now, James Madison, uh, this saga has gone on longer than Sven Botman's did. Um, Newcastle United have always been in the frame to sign James Madison. Uh, a lot of pundits themselves have said that Madison himself has spoken about his desire to join Newcastle United and the project that is happening at St. James's Park. Now, Spurs are also interested. Um, however, and according to a journalist, uh, Rudy Galletti, he claims that Madison wants to obviously A, continue in the Premier League, but B, he's determined to play in the Champions League. Now, Spurs can't offer him Champions League football next season. In fact, they can't offer him any European football. Now, is that a big enough pull to bring Madison to St. James's Park? He's away with the England team at the minute, where, of course, I'm sure Kieran Trippier and Callum Wilson are in his ear about what a fantastic club it is to play for and see if they can uh, help get this deal over the line. Now, Madison himself... I love Madison. I think he'd be an absolutely brilliant addition to Newcastle United. Yes, we know about uh, Sabozlai and every you know all the other players that have been linked. But why not get them all in? Why not get a couple of really good players through the door? Madison is very versatile. Can play in the middle. Can play on the right. You know, so he would be a fantastic signing for Newcastle. Um, and the the pull of the Champions League as well. You've got to remember that Madison is twenty six now. You know, this is a big move for him wherever he goes next. And you know, he said before, Ian Wright even came out in the in the winter transfer window and said that uh, he has uh, spoken to Madison and Madison was keen to join Newcastle. Now, Spurs coming into the fray, um, for me, doesn't change anything because, like I said there, Spurs can't offer him anything. Uh, they really can't. But what I would say is, guys, there's a lot of people saying on social media today that a deal is close. Take it with a pinch of salt as well. Because we've seen this many, many times that a lot of people during the transfer window uh, put out things just for clicks. Um, now, we know that, obviously, Rudy Galletti is a, is a, is a journalist. Uh, I haven't personally heard of him before. Um, but there is a lot of rumours going around, certainly on Twitter this morning, that Madison deal is close. I prefer to wait until the club then announce that you know a deal has been struck and a medical is going to take place. Of course, the window opens uh, in a couple of days. The excitement is building up for that window, obviously. So there's a lot of retweets, etc. going on about this Madison deal. But let's just take a step back and let's just things take its course. You know, it, it, if he's going to sign, then we will hear about it. And as soon as the club let, let us know, then we know that something's really, really happening. Uh, or he's, he's on his way for a medical or something like that. Um, we, you know, these are still rumours until the transfer window opens. Uh, but for me, James Madison is a player that I've I've really liked for a long time now and thought, yeah, he'd be a great player for Newcastle United. He seems to have a, a jovial attitude as well, which I think would be great for the dressing room. But not only that, he's a, he's a wonderful player. He's a talent. And, you know, to, to bring him in to uh, improve the squad... Uh, I'm all for it, guys. I really am. But whether this happens or not, I don't know. But there is, you know, there's a lot going on today, uh, saying that a deal is is just around the corner. But Newcastle will want to do the deal very, very quickly. They'll want to get their sign and sewn up very quickly before they lose out on these top players. You know, we know that they've got to be quicker in the transfer market this season than they have been in the previous. Um, couple of windows because we need to get those players in before they disappear to other clubs because we are shopping at the big stores now where players will go quicker than what they were lower down. Uh, but we'll see on that one, guys. But hopefully Madison isn't too far away.
Now, we know Carl Darlow uh, is probably expected to leave the club in the summer. Uh, of course, he spent the back end of last season on loan at Hull City. And Hull City were, well, he was a hero there. Uh, he did really, really well and, and, and well done to him. Um, but now it's at that stage now where he needs to make a decision. He's 32. Uh, this is probably going to be his last move. Um, I think Newcastle have made it plain and clear that they are happy for him to leave. Uh, obviously, Carrius is still on the books, uh, but Dubravka looks like still being the number two next season. Uh, he's going to play a lot more because obviously we'll need to rotate the team a lot next season in Europe. So Dubravka is probably going to get a lot more games than he uh, previously would when we weren't involved in European competition. Uh, now, Darlow himself, Hull City are interested. Of course they are. Their manager has come out and said that at the end of last season that he hopes to work with Carl Darlow again. Uh, but Middlesbrough apparently uh, today have entered the race to sign him. Now, we all thought that Middlesbrough would be a great place for him to go on loan uh, before he went to Hull City. Uh, I think, you know, staying in the area would have been good for him um, and good for Middlesbrough. If Middlesbrough can get him, it's a fantastic signing for them because they'll want to push for the Premier League uh, again next season after missing out on the playoffs uh, this time around, uh, or, or sorry, losing the covering in the semi-finals of the playoffs. It'd be very, very disappointing for them. Uh, but they'll want to try and improve on that next season. And signing a goalkeeper like Carl Darlow, uh, for me, would be a good move. So um, will Darlow go to Hull or will he go to Middlesbrough? Uh, I think it's almost certain that he's going to leave the club in the summer. Now, those of you that didn't manage to get tickets for the Rangers Newcastle Friendly, which is on the 18th of July... Uh, it is going to be televised. It's going to be on both teams' official websites. So Rangers and Newcastle United are going to broadcast the games live on their website. There will, of course, be a watch-along right here on the Toon Review channel as well. Um, so you can uh, watch along with it and uh, listen to the commentary from the Toon Review. Because what I did notice last season, uh, and certainly the, uh, you know, the feedback from a lot of fans, was the commentary on the friendlies was pretty drastic on the website. So uh, we will be here to give you live commentary of the game. Uh, kickoff is 7.45. Now, there's no more tickets for this game for the away end. Um, they have all been sold, guys. 8,000 tickets. The whole allocation has been bought up within... Well, a very short space of time, isn't it? Uh, I think there was a few tickets left yesterday, but they've all gone. Uh, 8,000 Newcastle United fans. The Toon Army is heading north to Glasgow, uh, and it's going to be a great occasion. Um, I think it's McGregor's um, testimonial game. So it's going to be a packed out house. There's no doubt about that. Uh, but at least everybody who unfortunately couldn't get tickets will still be able to see the game and hopefully one or two new signings taking part in that. Um, but that again, uh, 18th of July, uh, which is basically what, a month away, just a month and a bit away, uh, which seems incredible with a 7.45 kickoff. But you'll be able to have full commentary here on the Toon Review YouTube channel as well. Now, the Premier League voting for match of the season has come to a close and uh, Newcastle United are involved in the winning game. Uh, it has been voted that Newcastle's thrashing of Tottenham Hotspur at St James's Park earlier in the year, that has gained match of the season. Uh, it's an incredible feat um, and it's just nice to see Newcastle United being voted for something in a positive way. Uh, we know that the Premier League have uh, got their angst against Newcastle United uh, but this is, I think, being voted for by the fans uh, on the Premier League website. And of course, what a game it was. And, and, and a game that we will never forget. Uh, it was just incredible. 5-0 up within, what, 20 minutes of the game. It was just an incredible game to be at or a game to watch. You know, the goals flying in. Tottenham just completely capitulated. Uh, they didn't know what had hit them. It was like a tornado hit them. And we absolutely destroyed them on that day. Some of the goals were just world-class. Um, you know, you remember the, the, the one from Murphy from 30 odd yards, then the pass from Willick to Isak, just incredible goals, uh, which I think um, pushed a lot of people to vote for that game because it wasn't just the scoreline. It was the standard of the goals uh, that were absolutely fantastic. So uh, that has been voted Premier League match of the season. So very, very positive for Newcastle United. And finally, Castore. Uh, our old mates again who make our football tops. Um, now, I can't confirm this for certain because I've had to order mine online, so I'm not sure what I'm going to get, to be honest, uh, or when I'm going to get it uh, because they've already said there's a delay on it. Um, so, you know, I, again, we're just having to wait. Uh, now, what I will say is there's been a lot of complaints online or what I've seen online in social media, etc., about the stitching on the shirt again. It's drastically poor. 
Um, now, again, I'm not confirming this. I'm just telling you what I'm reading online. Uh, those guys that have ordered online, apparently uh, they're going to be a little bit different to what was in the club shop, uh, which confuses me. I'm thinking, well, replica tops are replica tops, guys. It's as simple as that. You know, why are they not all the same? I don't understand why they would be slightly different in the club shop to what people order online. Uh, now, we know they get them in batches when they're made. Uh, they've sold out in the club shop really quickly, which I think hit them very hard. Uh, because, But listen, Castoria should know by now the demand since the takeover for Newcastle United replica shirts. They should know the demand. They should know that we, as fans, expect a decent standard. We know what happened last season with badges being wrong, wrong sponsors, no sponsors, you know, different club badges on different club shirts, etc. They made a right fart of it. And, uh, you know, when we've seen this new top, we're all delighted. It's beautiful. It's, it's really a step up from what, we, what we've seen in the past. Um, and now it seems like the, the stitching on the shirt is crap. Um, you know, the, the writing of the club isn't very good and things like that. Now, I, as I say, I'm not going to confirm anything until I get mine. Um, which will probably be for Christmas. Uh, but, you know, those of you that have got the shirt, you know, let me know in the comments below. Is there anything wrong with it? Do you think the stitching is poor? Has it been made bad again? Is it shoddy stuff? Uh, let me know in the comments because I'm, I'm reading a lot online about some dodgy stuff going on with Castore again. Um, but only you guys who've got the shirt can confirm it to me at the minute. So let me know in the comments below. Um, have they once again ballsed up? Um, I'm intrigued to know. But there you go, guys. That is the daily news for today. As I said at the start, if you have enjoyed the show, please do give it the thumbs up. It is very, very important to this channel that we continue to build and continue to rise like we are. And of course, if you're new and you enjoyed what you've seen and you'd like to subscribe, hit the button. It is free to do so. And also that notification bell, which will let you know when we go live or we upload any future videos. But that's it for now, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.